Hi again. My name is Grandmaster D, and I'm the president and the honorary Grandmaster of the World Serata Screamer Federation. Um, in my last takes, I talked about what led me to the art of Serata and Screamer uh, by way of Danny Santo, Guru, uh, Grandmaster Richard Castillo, Maha Guru Tenbu Kaibukai. All of these gentlemen uh, were my uh, inspirations in leading me in the direction that ultimately headed towards Stockton, California. At any rate, I want to talk about one of the things that I had learned uh, in one of my first lessons from Grandmaster Kabbalah. First thing he did was, even though I had a good basis in the Kali, the somewhat the Eskrima and the Armis, uh, in Angel's opinion, uh, there were a lot of things that just didn't seem to be too practical to him. For one thing, uh, as a good example, uh, when I first introduced uh, the distinctive uh, lady of kickboxing, boxing, Graciela Casillas, uh, directly to Angel Cabalas, one of her concerns was, was that she thought she was going to learn the number system all over again. And she said she had learned that by way of Guru Inosanto already. So, in her uh, perspective, she already had a good base uh, regarding Sarada Screamer. Well, Grandmaster Kabbalah's back to differ. So, one of the first things he did was said that if you had learned Sarada Screamer, then how come you're still using the long stick? He said, because in Sarada, we always choke up on the stick and shorten it. And there's a reason for that. Uh, primary reason is, it's one of the things that I have learned by way of Guru Inosanto, which I think is really good because it sets up your foundation for the more combative arts, is basically how to flow with the weapon. So, here, you know, it looks really nice and fancy. However, even though I demonstrated that uh, to Grandmaster Kabbalah when I first uh, received my first lesson, he said, yeah, it looks good, but uh, still too much dancing. And so, at any rate, uh, he did the same technique, but he showed me why you want to use the short stick. In the Sarada, you open up just a little bit. The Sarada door can get you with the dagger. That is the reason for the dagger hand. Sarada would handle that same technique, but a little bit more quicker and effectively. As the strike is already committed by the assailant, Sarada engages it right away. And goes back to what we call the lock position. So this was one of the first lessons I learned and also one of the first lessons the great Graciela Castillas learned. Thank you for listening again.